of this particular Eurofighter Typhoon FGR4. But while the Typhoon is very much an operational reality amongst the air forces of its customer nations, developed all the time, whatever challenges the next 20 or 30 or so years of aerial warfare may bring. to the BAE Systems Test Fleet at Wharton in Lancashire. It was flown by the strike aircraft pilot who attended the Empire Test Pilot School, became a test pilot himself on the fast jet test squadron at Boscombe Down, was later posted to Edwin Air Force Base in the US where he became one of the US Air Force's lead F-16 test pilots. After retiring from the RAF, he joined BAE Systems and today he's the lead project pilot for the Eurofighter Typhoon at the AE Wharton. And a very nice demonstration from that of the Tom de Morton Gizmo, as he's known. And he should now be setting up for his knife edge pass. Next one, photo. Uh, 
A very difficult to fly outside turn there, minus 3G, showing one extreme of the structural integrity of the aircraft. Just to pick out a few of the highlights, the US Air Force Heritage flight with the F-22, the F-35A model of the Lightning II, and hopefully a P-51 Mustang will be on from a quarter past 12. The Croatian Air Force Winds of Storm, or Kila Oluya, display team making their react debut at just past 10 to 1. At half past two, seen at five to three, and then the centerpiece of today's display the formation of the Red Arrows, the two Typhoons, and the F 35B, like five to four, after which we'll see the F 35B.